Well, officials in Sudan say that President Omar al-Bashir has been removed from power. The country's defense minister made the announcement following weeks of protests across Sudan. He says the country's government has been dissolved and consultations are underway to form a transitional council to run the country, at least for now. Omar al-Bashir seized power in a 1989 coup. He is wanted by the International Criminal Court for his actions during the war in Darfur. Hundreds of thousands of civilians were killed there after Bashir allegedly ordered his military to carry out ethnic cleansing. CBS News foreign correspondent Deborah Pata has more on Bashir and what's coming next in Sudan. 30 years of iron-fisted rule under Omar al-Bashir ended today. War defined the autocratic leader. He seized power in a military coup 30 years ago, and today he was ousted by one. The Sudanese people have been voicing their fury for months now, beginning with anger over soaring bread prices last year and culminating in the largest demonstration yet on Tuesday. Initially, they were dismissed by al-Bashir, who said the rats should go back into their hole. But the Sudanese people, often led by powerful women, continued their protest, chanting, just fall, that's all. Today, Sudan's military announced that al-Bashir had been arrested and put in a safe place. Bashir liked to style himself as just a kid from humble roots at complete odds with his ruthless international reputation as a heartless warmonger who harbored terrorists like Osama bin Laden and was the architect of genocide in Darfur that killed hundreds of thousands of people. Since 2009, the International Criminal Court has sought to put him on trial for murder, rape and extermination. But after 21 years of civil war, South Sudan voted for independence in 2011, taking with it three quarters of Sudan's oil reserves. And as the economy weakened, opposition against him grew. The military has now suspended the constitution and will administer a transitional government. And although there was jubilation on the streets that al-Bashir had gone, protesters are saying they will not be happy until power has been transferred to civilians. Deborah Pado, CBS News, Johannesburg, South Africa.